Hare Krishna. To be responsible means to stop blaming the outer trigger for the inner trouble. We all are troubled by certain things. Some people make us angry, some, some stimuli tempt us and we all have our sore spots. And often it is very easy to blame those sore spots. You made me angry. In that situation, what could I have done? I succumbed. But instead of doing that way, if you understand that each one of us is a soul, that each one of us is a spiritual being and we are capable of being responsible. To be responsible means to, uh, res to be able to choose the right response. That means that when the outer trigger causes inner trouble, that means because of some situation, provocative, a provocative, provocative situation outside, if we start succumb, if we start getting agitated and then we act on that agitation and succumb, then that is, that is our problem. So we can't keep blaming externals. And this capacity to distance ourselves from our externals and to take responsibility for our internals, that is central to our spirituality. To the extent we take responsibility for our spirituality, our, for our integrity, for our morality, to the extent we grow in our contribution, in our satisfaction. Just like if the traffic was very heavy and because of that somebody said that, oh, this person cut across me and that's why uh, I, I met with an accident. It could be true. But if we are driving responsibly, we do have some capacity to minimize the possibility of our making an accident, even if the other person is driving irresponsibly. So, of course, in driving, it may well happen that we may not have that much capacity to choose. But in real life, we have much more capacities. When temptations come upon us, if we choose responsibly, then we can grow properly. And thus, Krishna tells in the Bhagavad Gita that for each one of us, Shamo Damastapahishaucham Shantirarjavam Evacha Gyanam Vigyanam Astikyam Brahma Karma Sabhavajam He says that Shamo Damastapahishaucham that we need to cultivate peacefulness, cultivate mind control, sense control. What that means is that best is don't let the mind dwell on outer triggers, then you won't get agitated. And if, if still the mind does get agitated because of perceiving some outer trigger, then we, we rein in, we use our willpower to not act out on it sensually. And thus we restrain ourselves. And that's how we can move forward constructively in our life without getting misled. So the more we learn to create a distance between the outer trigger and the inner trouble, the more our free will become more powerful and we will become more responsible. Thank you. Hare Krishna.